Yo, 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 what's going on YouTube family? Getting ready to let these beautiful, beautiful animals run free. Do what I do best. Today's episode, we just chilling. Today's actually my birthday. So just finished running some errands, celebrating with the family. Now it's time to take care of business. Make sure these animals took care of, guys. Making sure they took care of. We got Lotto, we got Zook right there, we got Dollar, Zena, and then Nina. You guys give me a second, we'll catch you in the next one. All right guys, today's episode is just gonna be pretty much about upkeep. Um, you guys wanna make sure that you have your animals in the uh, the safest and cleanest environment that you can provide. As of right now, we're bleaching and spraying out our pens, also freshening up our water buckets, guys. It's very, very important that you keep your dogs in a clean, safe, secure area, man. Um, especially as of right now, right now it's so hot. Right now it's so hot, so if you stay in a rural area like I do, you're gonna start to see more critters and stuff crawling around to be more specific, you're gonna you're gonna start seeing a lot more snakes. Once that uh dirt starts to heat up, those snakes are gonna come out of their little honey holes and they're gonna try to be wherever it's cool at. You guys won't see it on this video, but uh this week I'm going to go get some sulfur and also put down some lime around the perimeter of my house and also around the perimeter of my kennels to make sure we keep the snakes and any other unwanted animals away, guys. Make sure we keep the snakes and any other unwanted animals away. And truth be told, man, cleaning plays a big part in this game, man. Cleaning, making sure your animals have a nice clean environment. That's gonna cut down on a lot of problems. That's gonna cut down on a lot of parasites that they maybe can catch. It's just gonna cut down on a lot of things, guys. Cleanliness is next to godliness. And in this game, it's, it's don't get me wrong, you know, you get these animals, but a lot of this game is about your upkeep. How often you're cleaning, how often you're making sure they stay in deworm, making sure that they stay up to date on all vaccinations and stuff like that. So that's pretty much what we're doing on this video. It's nothing that you guys haven't seen before. But I just figured since I'm out here getting a little work done, we'll touch bases on it again. You want to make sure you keep it nice and clean. Nice and clean. I know a lot of guys out there use different type of solutions. You have different kennel cleans and stuff like that. But me, I just keep it basic here at Davis Rock Rollers. We keep us some uh, dish detergent. And we also keep us some bleach. Uh, you can't go wrong with bleach and dish detergent. As you guys know, dish detergent is a uh, degreaser. So it gets off that slime. It also keeps down on that smell. And then uh, you guys know that bleach is also a, a disinfectant. It kills anything it comes in contact with. Anything that may be lingering in the yard, it'll kill it. So you want to make sure you stay up with that, guys. Give me one second, let me finish cleaning out these two bays, and we'll catch you in the next one. But yeah, guys, I had to go ahead on it. I couldn't record and properly clean, so I had to go ahead on and finish them all up, then wait to record again, guys. But yeah, it's very important that you keep these animals in a clean, nice, safe environment. Um, if you wanna, if you wanna, you know what I'm saying, cut down the chances of you having to go to the vet for emergencies or your dog acting funny or you may think he, he didn't caught some type of parasite to cut down on that guys you want to make sure you keep everything nice clean and sanitary bleach dish detergent or bleach and dish detergent should be your best friend or any type of kennel cleaner that you guys may be using uh you also want to make sure that you stay on top of deworming your dogs uh i deworm my dogs once a month sometimes twice really truth be told whenever it hits my mind so anywhere between like um 
once a month, like every three weeks. Um, I kind of rotate them. I got them on that Safeguard horse pace. For those of you guys who are not familiar with that, that also treats for uh, worms, round worms, tape worms, hook worms, and also heart worms. The, uh, the same ingredients that's in them little chewable tablets that the vet charges the arm and the leg for is also in that horse scringent, guys. So you can deworm your dogs with that. Sometimes I uh, deworm with a uh, goat wormer, just different things that I have learned about since I've been in the dog game. Um, before it was Rock Rollers, it was Bulldogs, Jack Russell Terriers, the list goes on and on, guys. So you definitely wanna make sure that your animals stay stays in a nice clean environment you want to keep them up to date on all their worming shots and things like that so a lot of this game guys is upkeep is upkeep even when you have puppies you got to make sure them puppies stay in a nice clean sanitized area if not you're going to have problems when you go to the vet at that uh eight week mark and you're trying to get those health certificates one thing about it i don't care how cool you is with your vet how long you been doing business with them. If those puppies are not 100% healthy, that vet is not finna risk his license for anybody on signing off uh, on a health certificate, guys. So you definitely wanna make sure you keep up with your upkeep for your adult dogs all the way down to your puppies, guys. Like I said, I ain't gonna hold you up. Today's, today's actually my birthday. I turned 29 years old today, so just out here, just finished hanging out with the fam. Now we back at the crib. We ain't got to take care of these animals, guys. Rain, hail, sleet, snow, birthdays, holidays. These dogs still have to get taken care of. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. I'm also do a uh, update video on the puppies here pretty soon, and I'm also take a uh, ride down to uh, my brother's uh, house. Let you guys see those pups he has on the ground. Of course, you guys know we bred Zoop. To Zora. Zora is the litter mate sister to Xena. So those puppies are doing great. They're getting ready to be three weeks old. And we're getting ready to open up that litter for deposits as well. So you guys just stay tuned. Appreciate all the support. And we'll definitely catch you in the next scene. Until then, all those guys out there with dogs, make sure you're taking care of your animals and giving them a nice, clean, safe environment to live in, man. They no different than you and I. We want to be clean. We want to be fed. We want to be well taken care of. These dogs deserve the same thing we want. Take care of what take care of you, man. If them dogs taking care of you, even if they ain't taking care of you, make sure you take care of them dogs. For real. I ain't going to hold you guys up. Appreciate your support. And we'll definitely catch you in the next episode. Peace.